In the ACC, Clemson is the reigning champion. And then went seasons a dozen years in a row. You see all of the ACC titles. Six times they've been to the college football playoff. A couple of national championships for the first time in 12 years. The Tigers OC Garrett Riley is in his first year with the program. They lost some stars on defense. And now the, ch the challenge for them is can they hold off Florida State in the ACC? Clemson's time reigning over, is it about to change, or are they just lurking and ready to assume command again? I think that Clemson's going to have a really good year. They have a lot of talent. I mean, you're talking about a high-quality team, but so much is riding on the quarterback position. Cade Klubnick, is he going to be able to rise to the occasion? I think that they're going to have a fantastic season, but I'm, I'm rolling with the Seminoles, man. Jordan Travis, man, that kid. I, I, saw, um, I saw people talking about his practice the other day. Uh, Fowler was up there, and he was like, this guy is at another level. He's accurate. He's a leader. So I'm going with the Seminoles. Seminoles have 17 returning starters. Okay, This is what Norvell was hoping for whenever he took that job at Florida State. Because if you think, not too long ago, that stadium was actually on fire. You remember? And their fans were revolting. It was all hell was breaking loose. And what Norvell has put into place is the same thing he did at Memphis. Great teams. The offense is doing well. The defense is coming together. Last year was really a showcase of what they could become. With that being said, okay, seven out of the last eight ACC titles come from the Clemson Tigers. Yeah. Okay, there's a reason you're at the top of the mountain. You don't just fall there. I think Cade Klubnick was put in some very terrible situations last year, backed up, fourth quarter, third quarter in relief of DJ Uyunglele, who's now at Oregon State. Nailed it. And you bring in, thank you. Yeah, Shout good out, Oose. I feel good about it. <laughs> Coach Niamatololo out of Navy too no, earlier. Nailed it. Good thank you. Good Shout good out, Oose. Yeah, here we go. Real good. But I think Cade Klubnick with Garrett Riley is going to be a match made in heaven because if you watch Cade play, there's some flashes of some real greatness, and I think Garrett will be able to do that, and the rest of the Clemson team, who's five stars everywhere, should be able to do their thing. I, I think Clemson will feed off off of this this energy around you know like is, is it over mm -hmm. is the rain over is it yeah. behind them is, is Dabo's best behind him you know he's just like thank you just keep saying it keep saying <laughs> it here's the reality Th this Clemson team has had Taj Boyd Deshaun Watson Trevor Lawrence the last two years is it just the offense is it fair to put it on DJ Uyunglele and the lack of execution yeah. they still have a great defense they still have great athletes so, it, it, I mean, we're looking at Kate Klubnick. We're looking at Garrett Riley. We're looking, okay, this offense is get, going to get back to being dynamic. And, and you know, I, there were moments in that bowl game against Tennessee that you saw it, and, and I think the future of what we'll see this year. But with a new coordinator, I'm, I'm just excited to see. I think they're going to play with a chip on their shoulder. They hear the negativity. We'll just see if they're going to be better on offense. That's going to be the big question. They ranked behind Rice and Cal in yards per play last year, and they were uh -huh. 75th. Wow. Not 75th good. in 50-yard plays. You know who was number one? TCU with Garrett Riley and their new offensive coordinator. But I should point out that Quentin Johnston and Darius Davis aren't walking through that door in Clemson, <laughs> at least right now. Yeah, Michigan has a kind of ramp up to the season, too. Is this the type of team that can make it three in a row in the Big Ten and maybe win the national championship? I think so. When you look at what they're bringing back to the table, I mean, they have the most talented running backs room in the country with Blake Corm and Donovan Edwards. Obviously, J.J. McCarthy, people thought he couldn't throw the ball, couldn't get it down the field in the second half of the season, especially against Ohio State and TCU. He proved that he can go vertical. The defense is intact. Only, only question mark defensively is, like, the, the cornerback position. Now, obviously, Will Johnson is a lockdown corner on one side, but the corner opposite him, I think they're still trying to figure that out. But I think they can make another run, Pat. Yeah, I, you know, the, the whole thought about Ohio State, Michigan, being the Ohio State is in this transition era. You know, who's going to be the new quarterback? They got a guy rock, rocking – Slinging Sammy Ball uniform. Yeah, he wants to be. <laughs> I love that guy's sweet. punter as well. Breeze. People forget about that. I, I, I would assume that that's going to be the guy. If you're wearing 33 at quarterback and you're in a tight competition, I assume that's going to be the guy to go there. And Michigan, with this everything they got cooking, I mean, let's go Penn State, though. huh? Let's talk about Big Ten team like yeah. Penn State. Now, mm -hmm. they got a tough one opening night. Yeah. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great history to that game. Yeah, State and, and yeah. West Virginia. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Hostetler and Todd Black. Yeah, and this year it's Garrett Green. But if they can get past that week one matchup with West Virginia tough. at home, it's, yeah, it's hey, that is no cakewalk. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, they say, they say that, that, but they have 
Eight returning starters on offense, eight returning starters on defense. It all yeah. comes down to the quarterbacks Drew except Allen. for Drew yeah, Eiler. It's Allen. just like they had two freshman running backs last year that almost combined Ooh. for 2,000 yards. Yeah. They have it all seemingly on paper he to make a run. Good. So it's not just an Ohio State-Michigan no. conversation in the Big and, Ten. And, 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 and I think there's Aller. I mean, everyone's excited about what he can do. Highly touted recruit actually out of Ohio. But there's Nicholas Singleton. I mean, they're, they're loaded. I mean, they're just loaded. And I think their defense is going to get back to being nasty. They got guys that can rush the quarterback. So I'm with you. And I even think I would throw in on the other side, I think Wisconsin with Luke Fickle. We uh, talked earlier about what they yeah. can do with like Tanner Mo- uh, Mordecai coming in there. Iowa with Cade McNamara leaving Michigan. Uh, you, you would think that obviously offensively it can't be any worse than they were a year ago. They're going to take some big steps. So um, – I, I think the Big Ten, we talked about the Pac-12 and the Big 12 and the depth they have. Mm-hmm. I think the Big Ten has some pretty good depth this year as well. Who, who wins the ACC? I'm going with the nose. I'm going with Jordan Travis. I think this group is ready to win the conference. I've heard a lot of positive comments coming out of Tallahassee about the way they practice, the way they handle the heat, and the leadership qualities of Jordan Travis. And don't forget, they got Jared Verse, too. Defensive lineman who could have won the draft, been a first round yeah. pick, just decided to come back. So I like LS, I mean FSU, Florida mm-hmm. State. Yeah, shout out to FSU being back and their fans having this moment where it's like, wow, we thought we were never going to be good again, and here and we are back in the conversation. Yep. But that being said, the conversation is Clemson, though. Like, Ooh. that is my pick for the ACC, and it's strictly because of what I saw out of Cade in moments. I thought he was put in situations that were bad last year. I thought he wasn't put in situations to have success. Bringing a new OC who's you know, going to dial it up with Will Shipley, who's seemingly playing college football for 45 years. Mm-hmm. I I like that team a lot. I don't think there's going to be any follow up You know, I looked at this and I thought, okay, it's such a tough decision here between these two. They're going to Death Valley. Now, you, you give you yeah. give for me, you give Clemson the advantage because they get Florida State at home. What is it, like week four, maybe week yeah, somewhere? It's early in the season. Yeah. Um, so I, that's the main reason. And I, and I think Cade Klubnick uh, with Garrett Riley. The chance to get that Clemson offense humming again. They got some dynamic playmakers out on the perimeter. Shipley who can run the ball. The defense is always going to be good. I still think Clemson's a team to beat. Yeah, you know what good news is? No divisions. They could play twice. Yeah. If they both live up to expectations, they could play in the championship game. How about the Big Ten championship? Big Twin, we talked about them earlier. I think Michigan is going to win their third straight Big Ten championship. J.J. McCarthy is going to take a step up. He has, like, the most talented backfield behind him. So, I'm going with the Michigan Wolverines. I feel real good saying this because we have no idea who their quarterback's going to be. But give me Ohio State. Just yeah. strictly because of what has happened over the last couple of years. And then getting a chance to watch them play against Georgia last year. Who would obviously go on to do what they did to TCU. I think Ohio State has found an attitude and a culture. Now, who's the quarterback that's going to lead it? I like Ohio State getting back to the mountaintop. And, and I think the defense, it's going to be interesting to see after the way they played the last couple games against Michigan and then Georgia where they gave up some explosives. They had an entire offseason to try to really improve with Jim Knowles and now in his second year in the system. The quarterback, to me, is the beneficiary of being able to – now, again, Brian Hartline is the new offensive coordinator and play caller, but it's still Ryan Day and his scheme. So the beneficiary of having that scheme with Marvin Harrison uh, uh, and Mika Abuka, they're, they're just so loaded. And Trevon Henderson is back, healthy. <clears throat> I still think they, they have a great shot to uh, to make a run. Oh, H. Big 12. <laughs> yeah. Big 12, I'm going hook them. I'm going with the Longhorns. Get to see them early against Alabama. Quinn Ewers um, cut his mullet off. They say he trimmed down a little bit. He's the second <laughs> year with Sarkeesian. <laughs> I'm going with the Longhorns, man, to win the Big 12. I like them as well. Yeah. Go ahead and give me the Texas Longhorns just because with everything that they say about Sarkeesian, his offense and his culture, it's like with what we saw out of Quinn Ewers, if he would have kept going, yeah. I think the, the Texas Longhorns on their way out are going to take the title away from mm. This is potentially one of those graphics that comes back to haunt you because uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to go te- – Reese is ready to pay, make his pick. I'm going to go Texas as well. <laughs> really? So, so we got all three. We don't know this, by the way. For people that don't know the no, – We have no idea. We yeah. do not yeah. know how this is going to go. No, we so don't. I'm going not at all. Texas Man, this was a mistake. Well. <laughs> you, know, I, you know what? That's, that's who I have to pick too, but just because, You're picking Texas? Yeah, but just because oh. we haven't said this name in this show. Baylor? Reigning Big 12 champion Kansas, Kansas State, State and a whole lot of people coming back. Yeah. So they've been mentioned. Mm-hmm. You're, not pick picking against Texas. <laughs> You're not picking them. You got your tie on and everything. Yeah, they got to mention. They got to yeah. <laughs> mention. Pac 12. Pac 12. I'm going with the Washington Huskies. I love Michael Penix Jr. is a hell of a quarterback. I mean, they're loaded at the quarterback position as a conference, but I think he may be one of the best quarterbacks in the country. So I'm going with the Washington Huskies. So the Utah. 
mm. football team mm -hmm. had the only defense that was in anywhere near the top 65 in the whole pack yeah. last year. Yeah. Give me Utah against a very talented offensive conference because of how good their defense is, and I love the way that team plays football. No doubt. The whole question, I have Utah as well. The big question with Utah is Cam Rising. Remember in the Rose Bowl against Penn State, injures the knee, has surgery, working his way back. We don't think he's going to have a chance. We'll see, but I don't think he has a chance to play against Florida week one. How soon till you get him back? Because he is the heart and soul of the Utah football team coming back this year. So uh, I'm going with Utah, but, uh, man, it's going to be a heck of a run in that last year of the Pac-12. Mm -hmm. you, you guys know USC is not in the Big Ten this year, right? <laughs> <laughs> Make hey, sure you don't need to be going. pointing things out. Okay? They're already, we're already getting attacked. We're, we're already getting killed. We're already getting killed. We're already getting killed. Every other school. Everyone hates everybody. Yeah. Oh, they, they, you know, it's true. We hate all of your everybody. teams. Everybody. We hate everybody. We hate them all. They hate <laughs> us. We hate them. Yeah. Right around we go. I forgot what that Who, who wins the SEC? Yeah. yeah, but you know I love the Aggies, right? Yeah. So, for the SEC yeah. champ, I'm going with Alabama. Uh, <laughs> man. I mean, yeah, they're under the radar. People aren't respecting Alabama right now. Everyone's still excited about Georgia. I think Alabama wins the SEC. Okay, so here's another <laughs> situation. So like, earlier today, I, I was like this to be remembered. I said Georgia's like unbeatable. Okay, I love Georgia. Right. I we love Kirby Smart. I love everything they got going on. Back to back national championships. You don't just stumble into that. You got to really have something special. Mm -hmm. Oh. Saban's back, though, I think, personally. And our old friend, our good friend still, David Pollock, at the national championship, right in front of Saban's face, saying, yeah, so George is your dad now. I think that is something that's going to motivate an entire <laughs> culture. I think Alabama's going to be back. Give me roll damn see, tie. We, we all kind of feel and see the same thing. And, and it's the, Alabama has as big a question mark at quarterback as anybody in the country, and yet – that shows you how much we all still bow down to Nick Saban because when you question him and you think, well, <laughs> Alabama's done, he just finds a way to come back. And they didn't achieve their goals a year ago. So that next year usually is a bounce back year. Yeah. I got Bama as well. I have. All right, D. Okay, so I have Alabama, Florida State, Michigan, and Texas. And do you keep going? Now do you have to say the – you keep, keep going. going. Oh, okay, through, so then who wins it? Oh, yeah, I who's got playing Alabama and Michigan in the final. I got Michigan winning it all. Okay, no way. You don't have Michigan winning it all. <laughs> yeah, he does. It's right there. Hey, after last year, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> yeah, you win. Okay. <laughs> what on a bracket. What are you getting? <laughs> on a bracket. All right, so I got. What you what got? You got? What you got? Let me see. Let me watch this Come on, on the screen. We got Alabama. There we go. Okay. Got Alabama. We agree. Ohio State. Dude. They, Michigan. Uh, are Ohio you Georgia State and Michigan? Georgia. So I think Are this is serious? what's going to happen. Dude, two SEC. Then let's two go to the next ten. one. Let's see if we're the same. I two got SEC Alabama taking ten. on Georgia. Michigan. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Are you serious? Ball. No offense, Ohio State. I'm sorry. I'm wow. wrong. You made it to the playoffs. I mean, it was a good season. <laughs> and then I got you know who. Bama. Back Roll tide. Okay. All right. Alabama. Well, this is interesting. Wow. We're close. We're really we close. We don't talk. No, we don't. No idea. Not at all. And I went round and round. Yeah, I hate these guys. <laughs> I hate, yeah, I hate this too. I hate guys, doing really. these picks. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. stand it. I wanted to find somebody from you. the ACC. I wanted to find somebody oh, no. from the Big 12. I yeah. wanted to find Pac-12. Oh, no. Yeah. I did what you did. We're going to get I, 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 I have I have Ohio Weird. State. I have Michigan. Wow. I have Georgia. And I have Alabama. You guys got the same exact same bracket. Bro, Is that hey. crazy? Here's the difference. Look at you two. That's bad Here's TV, my but, championship like, really cool. game. I have a, Alabama against Ohio State. Okay. And the winner, of course, is? Alabama. We got Alabama. Wow. But well, we all got Alabama in the championship game. Yeah. At least. Oh, how about, is, is R.D., you no, got? I, you, no? you and I see I mean, I'll, I'll tell you. You and I see okay. it. Alabama, got, Nick, oh, Nick no, Saban can't fool us. Well, yeah. our, this is R.D. guy. It's talk I've to got, us. Well, I've got Michigan. Yeah. Georgia. Yeah. Florida State. Oh. See? And USC. Okay. Thank there you. you go. Okay. Thank Good you. Good job. Thank Good you. Job. Almost the now, same bracket. Almost the same bracket. Wouldn't that be bracket. fun? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be great? That would be excellent. Would be. Yeah. Because I hope that happens. I, I don't think Florida fun. State beats what? Clemson twice, but they'll beat them when it counts. Yeah. And beat them once. Well, see, yeah. with the, the reason you can do Ohio State and Michigan and Georgia and Alabama, just like last year, Perfect. very easily yeah. be undefeated when yeah. they play and then they right. match up in a conference championship game, the other team beats them. They very easily could, in the Big Ten's case. 
for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.